good evening, ladies and gentlemen. And it is a good evening, rather than uh, good morning or good day or whatever it has been the past couple of days. We are down here this evening. And the plan was today for day, <coughs> day three, day four. What are we on now? One, two, three, four. Day four. Day four of Novadose. Uh, the plan was today to plug the ECU in, sort out the injector problem, and get her up and running. Um, but, but, there is a but, unfortunately. Uh, I just tried to plug the laptop in, plugged everything in, ran an update, got everything connected, and the, uh, the firmware on the ECU is too old for the software on the laptop. So I either need to try and get an older version of the, lap of the software, or I need to update the firmware on the DTA cable. Problem is, to update the firmware, I need another additional flashing cable to do so, which is, I don't see why it can't all be done through that one cable, to be honest, but it, I need to have a look into it and see. But yeah, it seems very strange to have, to have a flashing cable and have a comms cable. With most other ECUs to update the, the firmware and stuff, it's all just done all just done through comms cable basically but that is going to stop me from getting into the ECU today unfortunately so uh, but you know we're closer than we were before at least I've actually got into the ECU to find out the firmware is not not right but anyway so change of plan tonight what we're going to do instead is mount the seats uh, I'm actually going to bolt the roll cage back as well uh, and mount the seats so what I've got to do with these is we have got some, let me just get this one seat out for a second. Wait there. Okay, so Nova Astra GTE seats, very nice, lovely. Uh, we have then got Nova subframes. This one's not bolted in. We have then got Nova subframes and we have got universal uh, sliders mounted to them, which I mounted these up the other day. So what I now need to do is mount the universal sliders to the bars on the bottom of the seats. Now, uh, let me lay this back that way. I'm going to get the two there. So on the back of here, you will see there is a bar across the back. Wonderful. Uh, I've already drilled and tapped that bar so that can be all mounted up, no problem at all. Uh, there is no bar across the front. There used to be a bar across the front. You can see it's been cut off, um, but there is now no bar across the front. So I've mounted the universal sliders up, drilled these out and tapped these out to M8. I've got some M8 bolts there, which I'm hoping will be the right, will work. Uh, and then I've got, uh, I've got some flat stock. Got some flat stock, same size as what's on the back. And I'm basically gonna cut this to size, drill this out, bolt this to that, like, that and then the bottom of this can then be drilled and tapped to accept a bolt through the slider and that will bolt everything up and then these rails basically are just going to bolt up in the factory holes at the back there um, and they, they would usually be a sliding mechanism inside which we haven't now got so we've just got the basic seat frame so what we're going to do is I'm going to put these in and I, these are a pain in the ass to get in put these in and then these tabs here I'm basically going to drill and tap that through into the old bracket and then the same on this side uh, this little thing here slides in through the bottom so I'm going to put fixing in there so that they will just be permanently fixed on all four corners and then obviously the universal sliders will take care of the slidey slidey side of things uh, I have also brought my hoover down with me a good old trusty Henry so I can get all this hoovered out nice and clean before we put the seats in so yeah that was a whole lot of waffling just to get to this point. So let's get the cage in, let's get the seats in and uh, we'll go from there.
cage fitted, holes marked, cage removed or semi removed, holes drilled, drill broken. Yeah, so I've got some bits of out of it and it's quite smoky. So yeah, that's going in the bin, to be fair. I knew that was on its way out for a long time. It's lasted a lot longer than I expected it to, to be honest. Anyway, right, so that's all that drilled out. I'm literally gonna go and get the Hoover, Hoover this all out, uh, and then get it all bolted in. I've got some extra long high tensile bolts over here. I think I am actually short. Oh, look. That's not the right size bolt in that pack. That's naughty. Right, so that means I'm a few bolts short, but I'm gonna still get it in, basically, and then we'll just poke a couple of bolts through the holes afterwards. Right, I'm gonna hit my hoover, crack on. because obviously I've still got to put the seats in and trying to put the seats in with door bars in a way is just going to make things more difficult and you know work smarter not harder and all that so front front plates are all fully bolted in this one is fully bolted in uh, I just need to cut the bolts down because they're a bit long um, that side I've not done yet but and the back ones I haven't done yet <clears throat> the back ones I'm going to need a second pair of hands because trying to hold that whilst trying to sort it out from the wheel tub bolt it out from behind on the wheel tub is a little bit difficult to say the least so uh, I'll, uh, I'll wait till I've got Dean or someone down here with me for those ones. What I'm going to do quickly now is I'm going to attempt to drill out the holes that I need to drill out for this front seat mount. Now, I don't know if the drill is going to last long enough to do it. And I mean, I've got I've got like another two or three drills, but I just that's the only one I've got here tonight. The others are all at, you know, either in the uh, in the shed or in my house. So um, I'm going to try and drill it out, see how it goes. And I thought I'd film it because there's probably a good chance. The drill might explode and that'll make for a good video won't it so uh yeah basically right this uh oh hang on let me move those out of the way where's dropped off a care package earlier today four red bulls four beers he knows he knows keeps me going anyway <laughs> uh anyway right let's pop you up there that's what we usually do and it we usually pop you up there with something heavy on top so it don't fall down but keep that Right, so what I've got here is I've got a plate that I made the other day and I drilled these out for counter sunk, counter sunk M6s um, which I then wasn't happy with so I then decided to try and plug weld it um, and I'll be perfectly honest with you I couldn't get the square bar on the bottom of the seat hot enough for the weld to take properly and the problem is because the seats are covered I can't get them any hotter than I already had them without setting the seat on fire basically so uh, that's what we've got with this one but yeah so... Uh, <laughs> Got to re-drill that one, drill these out to M8 and then we're going to bolt them with M8's, uh, M8 bolts and go from there. So I'm just going to bend that back a little bit from the other day where I tried to bend it round. Right, let's try and drill these out. Now I've already drilled them out to M6, so in theory I haven't got to drill them out that hard to uh, to get there. So the drill might make it. The drill might make it, we'll see. Uh, that's a pretty good M8, it's quite sharp. Right. There are bits flying out of the drill as I use it though, to be fair. Alright, let's see what happens. Well, I said that was a good M8, it wasn't. Shit. Let's try that one instead, that's a lot sharper. Oh, did those two holes, didn't it? Quite easily as well. Try these ones. That's one. 
second one I've got to drill through that plug weld that's sitting in there now. Oh, I mean anyone that slags off the wall, got to give it their due. This has seen some abuse, this drill. It's not given up yet. Oh. It did just give up then though. <laughs> Uh, right, let's try and draw this out. Give me the best way to do it. Okay. Fire it through the middle. That pilot bit's bent, so I won't use that one. Two hours later. Right, it's not gone to plan. I've even had to open a beer to consolidate myself. Basically, after drilling that out, I got me a mate bolts out, and they're a bit too long, so I need to uh, need to find some shorter ones. I have got a bunch of shorter ones laying around. But I don't know if they're going to be too short, um, and I want a good amount of thread engagement on these because obviously I want it to bite properly. Uh, I'm just going to try these ones I've got here quickly. This might actually be all right. Uh, probably not by the time I've got a spring washer on there. I do need to get some spring washers on there. Anyway, oh, you get the idea, you get the idea. They're gonna bolt on like that. And then the subframe, which is in here. Grab the subframe, take the door bar out of the way. And then the subframe bolts on to this seat like this. Uh, what do I do with my M8s? There we go. This bolts right. Hang on, let me put you down. Okay. Right, that goes on there like that. These go through here. And this little space that goes on the back there. And then that screws into that hole there. Go so that box to there, and then these can slide up and down accordingly. So, all I need to do now is basically where this is is drill through there, put a spacer in there, tap that, drill that, tap that, lovely job. It's all, all sorted, and then that can bolt in the car. Uh, my drill, whoops, my drill is dying, and I destroyed every my drill is dying, and I destroyed every pilot bit I've got. So, I'm not going to uh, drill and tap those tonight. I'm going to finish my beer and I'm going to go home. Uh, and that is going to be that for this evening. I've got to tidy up, obviously. Have no fear, there is plenty more coming. Obviously, we will get to where we need to be with this one. We've got the Fiesta sitting outside. I have got a very big box sitting in my dining room, uh, which there will be a video on. And that's a, that's a new little adventure for me, that one actually, uh, inside that box. So, I uh, thought I'd bring you along on that one as well. So, car looks less complete than we started this evening, which is always a good sign. Uh, <laughs> engine is all good to go, the front is what the front is, we didn't fix the coolant leak, I did fix the air leak, um, so I suppose we did do one thing positive this evening, um, cage is bolted in and that is going to be that, so uh, yeah, like, comment, subscribe, see you next time.